Welcome to this workshop on evaluating control performance. In this workshop, we'll look at a commercial tool that is used for control system performance monitoring and uh, examine some of the features that may be useful in minimizing efforts to maintain a plant. Starting from an overview of the process area or of the plant, will show how it's easy to identify areas that need further uh, work and uh, investigation. From uh, summary, we can then uh, identify modules that have a particular problem. Uh, we'll look at uh, the area summary and uh, find a module that has a bad input, then go into that and look at what percent of time that input has been bad. We'll then uh, examine uh, the area to determine a loop that has high variability where tuning is not really the issue. And uh, then we will uh, look at uh, a loop in which there is high variability where tuning uh, is recommended and then drill into that to determine uh, how much improvement is expected. The uh, performance tool that we'll be looking at, uh, the overview uh, view that this provides of a process area or the plant is shown here. It's uh, The tool is Delta V Insight. The, we'll be looking at the inspect feature of it, that is the performance monitoring feature of this tool. In a later workshop we'll look at the tuning aspect where tuning then can be done immediately when a, a loop is found to uh, uh, be under tuned or over tuned. So let's uh, begin then. Here we are looking at uh, the uh, performance monitoring overview. Uh, as you note on the left hand side is uh, a tree in which the process areas of the plant are shown uh, inspection can be enabled on all or some of the areas. Here we have two areas that are enabled. And we'll be looking at those. We have uh, uh, in the overview, <coughs> we show uh, for the selected area or the plant, uh, the number of modules that have uh, a performance issue and that can be incorrect mode, which means the loop's not being utilized, or limited output, high variability, a loop that needs tuning, or where the device has uh, determined through diagnostics that there's a problem. By uh, selecting a process area, then we see just the modules for that area are highlighted in terms of the ones uh, that have uh, an issue. First workshop, we'll be using the uh, uh, Insight um, process area and uh, be examining a number of loops that are simulated to have different operating conditions. As you can see here, there are a number of things that are wrong in this process area loops that need tuning, uh, limited output, bad measurement, um, incorrect mode. And so we'll be looking at these <coughs> areas. In this area, you notice when we click on the summary, uh, the actual uh, modules in that process area are all shown automatically. So it's just uh, something that comes out of the system database. Uh, based upon the summary, we can identify then the modules that actually have uh, a problem. And the problem is, donate, is designated by the, um, the diamond there. Uh, to denote there's a, an issue in one or more of the blocks in that module. You notice in this particular case uh, the module is indicating uh, an uncertain input that is a, a bad measurement or an uncertain measurement, one which has a, a problem. To find out more about that, uh, we can drill into the module, and a module can have many inputs. In this particular case, it only has one, but it identifies uh, correctly the input that has the problem. By further drilling into it, then we see that 100% of the time over the reporting period, 
this input was bad. You can look at uh, the information over different time frames. Here we're looking at the current hour as the uh, the range of uh, uh, that we're examining. So in this particular case where we have an input that's always bad, we know it's not just a transient uh, situation, it's a permanent thing that possibly means we need to look at the uh, transmitter, replace it, or maybe the measurement element. As we can see here from the uh, summary, some loops are indicated as having high variability. Uh, this can be due to just a um, um, high level of uh, unmeasured disturbances in a control loop. In some cases it can be due to tuning. Where only high variability is indicated, then we can look and uh, examine this particular uh, case here. And we notice that uh, the control loop is doing a very good job of maintaining set point. It's just that the process measurement itself has quite a bit of noise and uh, possibly process disturbances that are causing that high degree of variation. As we can see here, the variation exceeds the limit that is set, that, that's set on an individual loop by loop basis. And that's why it was flagged as having high variability. Uh, but we notice the uh, tuning index is zero. That says there's zero improvement that can be made by tuning this control loop. That, that uh, the control loop meets the criteria that was set for the loop uh, in tuning and uh, therefore nothing more can really be done by uh, tuning the control loop. In some cases, uh, the problem of high variability is due to uh, the tuning of the control loop. And that is automatically flagged, uh, as we notice here for this example. High variability and uh, tuning is required. So let's drill into this and sort of look at uh, what's going on. In this particular case, the module only has one control block, and that's the source of the problem. You notice immediately we see a trend of the measurement, the set point, and the output of the loop. And we see that the measurement is very sluggish in coming up to new set points. And that's because the valve is also very sluggish in responding to set point changes. All this is an indication of poor tuning of the control loop. And that's then the source of our high variability that we're getting uh, and flag the, the high variability. Uh, in the summary. Also you notice uh, the tuning is indicated that we can improve the performance of the loop by 82 percent just by retuning our control loop and so in this particular case performance is an issue of high variability and that can be addressed by just uh, tuning the control loop. So by having this kind of information uh, in the maintenance department, uh, they can then focus upon the loops that really require tuning, uh, not spend time on loops where tuning isn't required, and quickly find uh, problems with measurements. By looking at the overview of the entire plant, a uh, person can very quickly ascertain the issues that are present and uh, focus upon those before they, they cause any production problems within the plant. Hope you found this uh, exercise to be helpful in uh, better understanding what is possible with uh, control performance tools. And I hope this will be motivation if you aren't using these today to, um, to look at uh, applying that within your own control system.